Welcome to the spoken tutorial on inserting pictures and tables. In this tutorial, we will learn to insert pictures, format pictures, hyperlink within and outside the presentation, and insert tables. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. Let's open the presentation sample-impress.odp which we saved earlier. This file and an image file have been provided to you in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the files. Make a copy and then use them for practicing. Let's learn how to insert a picture into the presentation. First, let's select slide 4 from the slides pane. Make a duplicate slide by clicking on the duplicate slide icon in the standard toolbar. Click on the title text box of the slide. Change the title from long term goal to open source funny. Click inside the body text box below. Click on the insert image icon in the standard toolbar. Alternatively, click on insert menu in the menu bar and then on the image option. The insert image dialog box appears. Go to the location where your picture is saved. I will go to desktop and select the picture open source bartpng Click on the open button at the top right corner. The picture gets inserted into the slide. As mentioned earlier, this image has been provided in the code files link. Let's undo the change by pressing Ctrl plus Z keys. In the center of the body text box, notice a small box with four icons. This is the quick access insert toolbar. Click on the bottom left icon in the insert toolbar named insert image to insert an image. Select open source bartpng and click on the open button at the top right. The image gets inserted into the slide. Let's learn how to change the shape and size of the image. There are 8 handles named control points around the corners of the image. Hover the mouse on any control point till the cursor turns into a double vertical arrow. Now click and hold the left mouse button on any one control point. Drag the control point either down, up, left or right to resize the image as per your requirement. Dragging the corner control points helps us to scale the length and breadth proportionally. Once you finish resizing the image, click anywhere in the text box. Let's undo the change by pressing Ctrl plus Z keys. Likewise, we can insert other objects like charts and audio video clips into the slide. Explore all these possibilities on your own later. Next, let's learn about hyperlink. Hyperlinking allows us to easily move from slide to slide, open a document from the presentation, open a web page from the presentation. First, we will learn how to hyperlink to another slide within a presentation. Click on the title text box of the slide. We will first change the title from long term goal to table of contents. Then, we will move this slide to number 2 position by clicking on it in the slides pane. 
without releasing the mouse button, drag it upward to number 2 position. Now release the mouse button. Click on the body text box and type the following text. Overview Short term strategy Open source funny Long term goal Now select the line of text Overview Click on the insert hyperlink icon in the standard toolbar. The hyperlink dialog box appears on the screen. On the left pane of the dialog box, select the document option. Under the target in document section, go to the right side of the target field. Click on the circle icon named target in document. The target in document dialog box appears on the screen. It contains a list of all slides present in the presentation. You can select any slide from the list which you want to hyperlink. I am selecting slide 3 from the list by double clicking on it. Click on the apply button and then click on the close button. Now we see that slide 3 is displayed in the target field. At the bottom, click on the apply button and then on close button. Then click anywhere outside the body text box. Now when you hover the cursor over the hyperlinked text, the cursor turns into a pointing finger. This means that the hyperlinking was successful. Press Ctrl key and click on the hyperlinked text. We will be redirected to the relevant slide. Next, we will learn how to hyperlink to another document from this presentation. First. Go back to the slide titled Table of Contents. Click inside the body text box. Type external document as the last line. Now select the sentence external document. Click on the insert hyperlink icon in the standard toolbar. In the hyperlink dialog box on the left pane select the document section. Now. Go to the right side of the path field. Click on the folder icon named Open File. The open dialog box appears on the screen. Here we have to select the document which we want to hyperlink. I will go to Desktop and choose Resume.odt file. Then click on the Open button at the top right corner. Notice that the full location of resume.odt appears in the path field. At the bottom, click on the apply button and then on close button. Now, click anywhere outside the body text box. Observe that the text external document becomes a hyperlinked text. Press Ctrl key and click on the hyperlinked text. We will be redirected to the relevant document which we had selected. In our case, it takes us to resume.odt file. Hyperlinking to a web page is similar. Click on the body text box once again. Type Ubuntu LibreOffice in another line. Select the sentence Ubuntu LibreOffice. Click on Insert menu in the menu bar and then click on Hyperlink option. In the Hyperlink dialog box, by default, the Internet section is selected in the left pane. And in the Hyperlink type section, the Web Radio button is also selected. Now, in the URL field, type www.libreoffice.org. At the bottom, click on the Apply button and then on Close button. Click anywhere outside the body text box. Observe that the text Ubuntu LibreOffice becomes a hyperlinked text.
For the next part of this demonstration, you will need internet connectivity. If you don't have it, then skip this part. Press Ctrl key and click on the hyperlinked text. We will be redirected to the relevant URL. Next, we will learn how to insert tables into our presentation. Tables are used to organize data in columns and rows. Select the slide titled Short Term Strategy from the Slides pane. Click on the slide layout icon in the standard toolbar. Click on the title and to content layout. Now go to the left side body text box of the slide. Click on the icon named insert table in the insert toolbar. The insert table dialog box appears on the screen. By default, it shows the number of columns as 5 and number of rows as 2. We can increase or decrease the numbers using the plus and minus buttons. I will select the number of columns as 2 and number of rows as 5. Click on the OK button at the right hand side corner. That's one way that a table is inserted into the slide. Another way to insert a table is by clicking on the table icon in the standard toolbar. Here we can manually select the rows and columns for the table in the displayed grid. Notice that there are control points around the table. Let's elongate the table so that the typed text is more readable. Click and hold the left mouse button on the lower control point and drag it downwards. Now type some text into the table as shown here. Let's change the font of the header row to bold and center the text. Select the text in the top row. Click on the properties section in the sidebar. Click on the bold icon and then click on the align center icon. Next, let's change the color of the table. First, select all the text in the table by dragging the mouse like this. In the properties section, go to the table design property and select any table style. I will select a table style of my choice from the list. Click anywhere outside the body text box. See how the table looks now. Let us save all the changes we made in our presentation by clicking on the save icon. And then close the file. With this we have come to the end of this spoken tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial we learn to insert pictures format pictures, hyperlink within and outside the presentation, and insert tables. As an assignment, open practice-impress.odb file. Insert a picture on the third slide. On the fourth slide, create a table of two rows and three columns. In row 2 of column 2, type slide 3 and hyperlink this text to the third slide. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. For more details, please contact us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. The spoken tutorial project is funded by MHRD Government of India. This tutorial was originally contributed by the Crew Solutions Private Limited in 2011. This is Arvind and Manish from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for watching.